More breaking news coming in, uh, and this is pertaining to the Bharat Jodo Yatra, where Rahul Gandhi, remember, in one of his speeches during the course of the Yatra, had uh, pledged that they will be hoisting the national flag in Srinagar, in Jammu and Kashmir. Now, the Congress party has said that the Lieutenant Governor, Mr. Manoj Sinha, has assured full cooperation. They've also claimed that uh, uh, Farooq Abdullah, uh, the CPIM leader, uh, Mr. Tarigami, and also the PDP's Mehbooba Mufti will be taking part in the Bharat Jodo Yatra. This is a claim coming from a senior leader within the Congress party, Mr. K.C. Venugopal. But before we, in fact, listen into what Mr. Venugopal said, let me, in fact, go across to my colleague uh, Pradeep Datta. Pradeep, uh, this is a claim that had been made by Rahul Gandhi as well, that the Bharat Jodo Yatra will, of course, be going to Jammu and Kashmir, and that the national flag of India, the tricolor, will be hoisted in Srinagar. Now we have a reaction coming in from another member of the Congress saying that the leaders of the National Conference, the Communist Party of India, Marxist, as well as the PDP, will be joining uh, the Rahul Gandhi in this yatra in Jammu and Kashmir. Yes, that's what we have come to know, that uh, all these leaders will be joining uh, Rahul Gandhi during the Bharat Choro Yatra once he will be reaching Lakhanpur. This was already conveyed by Omar Abdullah also a few days back. Farak Abdullah will be reaching Lakhanpur, where he's going to receive Rahul Gandhi and he'll be part of this Yatra. Yesterday, when Mahbubha Mufti also spoke about that, he said that this Yatra is very important because many of the symbols have been damaged because they are seeing this Yatra as in uh, like an uh, opportunity for them to hit out at the uh, BJP government and project them in bad light. If you look at what Rahul Gandhi said two days back, he said this is Nafrat ke bazaar mein main mohabbat ki dukaan sajane aaya hoon. And after that, Mahbubha Mufti said uh, that uh, how the present regime is trying to spread hatred. So this is going to reselect okay. uh, those symbols Right, I have to interrupt you there, uh, Pradeep, for just a moment, uh, because uh, we have, of course, that reaction coming in from Mr. K.C. Venugopal. Let's listen to what he said. Come what may, we will go to the entire route of this Kashmir, Yatra till Kashmir, and in Kashmir, we will host the national flag. This is what our program, national program. Yesterday, we had a meeting with the Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha ji. I think it was a very good meeting. He offered all sorts of cooperation on this Yatra. That certainly, certainly, I am very much happy to say that Farooq Abdullah ji, Omar Abdullah ji, Bhuma Mufti ji, all are very much, Tarigami ji, all are ready to join this yatra. That is, a, that is one of the happiest moments for all of us. Right, so Pradeep, very interesting that uh, members of the National Conference as well as uh, the PDP will be joining the Yatra. Any information as to whether or not they'll also be there for the flag hoisting ceremony in Srinagar? See, that is to be seen, but definitely this is going to expose the hypocrisy of both these political parties, whether it's PDP or whether it's National Conference or whether it's Congress, because in the past we have seen that whosoever has tried to hoist tricolor at Lal Chuk, they were either detained or they were arrested. Nobody was allowed to do so because that time they wanted to keep the separatist elements in a good humor. Now, same, same Rahul Gandhi is following the path what actually was started by Narendra Modi and Murli Manoj Joshi long back in 80 when they had been together there to hoist a tricolor in Lal Chuk. See, that time they were not allowing them and giving them space for that thing. And every time they had to make an effort to come out to this place. There was a Teranga Yatra. We saw that how Arun Jetli, that's why Umar Abdullah was the chief minister. Arun Jotli as well as uh, Sushma Sabra they were arrested at Lakhanpur. They were not allowed to come out to this place. This, this exposes, their, exposes their double standard and hypocrisy because now they uh, have joined hands because they want to project BJP in bad light, trying to say that all is not well under their rule. But the reality is that they are power hungry. They want to stay in power, whether it's a Bharat Jodo Yatra, whether they are joining hands with each other and about the hoisting of the tricolor. They will have to make their stand clear. Now it is to be seen whether it will be only part of the Bharat Jodo Yatra or these leaders will also be there at Lal Chok hoisting a tricolor because that's going to be very Absolutely important. Pradeep, the reason Jeff I asked you that question was because Mehbooba Mufti in 2020 had said that she will not raise the tricolor until the old flag of Jammu and Kashmir is restored by way of the restoration of Article 370. This is something she'd said two years ago. So therefore, it'll be really interesting if at all she's present when the tricolor is raised in Srinagar as Rahul Gandhi claims. 
Yes, Siddharth, you are absolutely right because that was the statement given by Mahbubha Mufti uh, two years back. She said that there will be no one to raise a tricolor because after abrogation of Article 370, they have lost their state flag. And once that state flag is not given back to them, she will not be hoisting a tricolor. Now it's to be seen whether she is going to do so. And then another question is that we have seen how during whether Mahbubha Mufti was chief minister, whether Umar Abdullah was chief minister, nobody was allowed to hoist a tricolor at Lal Chok. We have seen that many a time civilians made an effort or social activity activists, whosoever has tried to do so, they were detained. So everybody used to ask a question, if we are not allowed to raise a tricolor in our own country, where else we will be raising the tricolor? And today when Rahul Gandhi will be coming out to this place and these people will be joining in a yatra and all eyes will be on that particular moment, whether they will also be part of that tricolor raising ceremony. That is to be seen. But yes, everybody has started questioning their duplicity and hypocrisy because they had been speaking something when they were in power. When they are not in power, they are talking in a different tone and different language. So they have okay. basically joined hands. To Radhi, I'm just interrupting you once again. Uh, we're getting the national spokesperson of the BJP, uh, Mr. Shahzad Punawala, joins us on the phone line for his response. Uh, Shahzad, KC Venugopal has said that uh, the Congress party will receive cooperation from Mr. Manoj Sinha, the left governor. Uh, as the Bharat Jodo Yatra enters Jammu and Kashmir and that a flag will be hoisted, it still remains to be seen if the PDP and the National Conference are actually part of that flag hoisting ceremony. Samai ka chakra aur kaal aisa ghoomta hai and Pradeep was rightly saying that those who were the strident opponents of Tiranga at Lal Chok, Benton, Muli Manor Joshi, Modi ji and other stalwarts of the BJP to raise the flag and the tricolor at Lal Chowk. Today, and those who are batting for two flags, though Nishan, today are in the race of uh, hosting the tricolor. So one thing is very evident, Siddharth, that look at the uh, 360 degree turn that these people have done. But having said that, the biggest uh, idea of Bharat Jodo is the abrogation of Article 370, the removal of Article 370 because of which Kashmir, Bharat ke saath abhin ang ki tarah hamesha ke liye jud chuka hai politically, so spiritually and also geographically. Right. Do Mehbubha speak? Right, Shahzad, I just have to interrupt you there. Please stay with us because Mr. Mohit Bhan of the PDP, the People's Democratic Party is joining us. Mr. Bhan, uh, will you confirm the participation of Mehbubha Mufti in the Bharat Jodo Yatra and will she also be present at the uh, tricolor hoisting ceremony in Srinagar? See, as of now, uh, uh, we have welcomed uh, the uh, decision of Rahul Gandhi ji entering uh, Jammu and Kashmir with the Bharat Jodo Yatra, and we have you know, extended our support to it. So, but as soon as they finalize the program and uh, see how the invitations and everything goes, goes around, you will come to know about our participation and who all will be participating in the in the Yatra. Okay, but uh, will Mehbubha Mufti be part of the tricolor hoisting ceremony? I ask you this specifically because two years ago she said she will not raise the tricolor until and unless the JNK state flag is restored and Article 370 is restored, which is why I'm asking you that. Will she be present when the tricolor is hoisted in Srinagar? No, no, see, you have been, you've been meeting, the, meeting around the bush. The, uh, you have, uh, you know, uh, fractured the statement multiple times in a way and not carried it the way it was, it was set back then also. But, uh, you know, uh, it, is, it is the people of Kashmir, it is the regional political parties of Kashmir who have given blood and sweat to the national flag and kept it fly high uh, through all the, uh, you know, years of militancy and turmoil in, in, in Kashmir. So we don't need lessons on, from anybody on, on national flag and, and the patriotism for that matter. But okay. yes, as far as the program of Bharat Jodo Yatra is confirmed, I confirm to you that uh, as and when the invitations come across and uh, some discussions happen, it, we will confirm it. You because as of now it is at a at, at, at too early a stage we haven't received any communication about any event um, okay. as such so as and when it comes we will we will we will we'll make our stand. Okay, clear. Mr. Ban, uh, we also have uh, the national spokesperson of the BJP with us, Shahzad Punawala. Shahzad, uh, uh, Mr. Ban claims that. Uh, Mehbubha's, Mehbubha Mufti's comments have been twisted that the PDP itself has made a lot of sacrifices for the unity and integrity of this country. We've all seen the statements made by Mehbubha Mufti on several occasions and that of Farooq Abdullah, how he wanted the support of China to reinstate 370. But look, Sirat, ever since 370 has been abrogated, there is a wave of nationalism. And till yesterday, who was saying, Kanda ni milega tirange ko, aaj wo tiranga lehrane ki dog mein hai, yehi antar hai, yehi farak hai. 
This is the effect of removal of Article 370. So maybe Congress, Tarigami, PDP, NC all must celebrate the abrogation of 370 while they are raising the tricolor. Okay, Mr. Poonawala as well as Mr. Ban, thank you so much for your perspective on this important development. We'll of course wait an official word from the PDP as well as to whether or not Mehbooba Mufti will be part of that flag hoisting ceremony as well. We'll slip into a short break.